A whole new computer for just 35 bucks? Really? Well, kind of. I'm not quite talking about a desktop or a laptop with all the bells and whistles. I'm talking about the little single board computer, the Raspberry Pi, a tiny credit card sized device with so many uses that it's possibly the biggest British invasion since the Beatles. Now at first glance, the Raspberry Pi doesn't seem very impressive, especially when you get to the spec sheet. You get a quad core ARM CPU that doesn't support all the same instructions as a desktop or a laptop x86 CPU, a single gigabyte of RAM, four USB 2 ports, one HDMI port, an Ethernet jack, a micro SD slot for storage, wireless and Bluetooth, and a 3.5mm combined video and headphone jack. Oh, well at least they got that part right, which is good. Anyway. You can try to use the Pi as a general purpose PC for web surfing and YouTube and whatnot, but we don't really recommend this, as the default Linux distro that serves as the Pi's operating system called Raspbian isn't that great for everyday use. You can actually learn more about that in our review of the Raspberry Pi on our other channel here. What really makes the Pi interesting is not only a couple of slots for mounting a small camera and an LCD display, think like the kind you'd find on the back of a digital camera, but the 40 pin general purpose input and output or GPIO, which allows you to connect the Pi to everything from weather stations to robots. This functionality was originally built into the Pi so it could be used to teach computer science and programming to relatively young students, but is the main reason that it's become so popular among do-it-yourselfers of all ages for home projects. Imagine a DIY media stick with more power and flexibility than a Chromecast, thanks to open source media centric OSs like Kodi, or a dirt cheap home server solution when you connect a USB stick or an external hard drive. If you're looking for something beyond the realm of everyday computing though, you can buy special low light cameras for the Pi and have a simple but effective home surveillance server. You can hook it up to your home's entrance to create a smart door lock or even a brewing controller for home beer making. Delicious. Indeed, projects range from pet feeders to real working food dispensing robots to even Raspberry Pi controlled drones. But I'd be remiss though if I didn't mention the Raspi's gaming potential. I mean, no, you're not going to be able to run Crisis at max settings, but it turns out the Pi is a great platform for retro games of all sorts, as open source projects like RetroPie are capable of running games for everything from the Atari to the Nintendo 64. Many users have even gone as far as to build custom enclosures for the Pi, turning it into a fully portable retro gaming machine, supporting more consoles than you'd find at Radio Shack back when that still existed. Of course, a lot of those projects require you to have a little patience and learn a thing or two about Linux, but with 10 million Raspberry Pis shipped since its debut in 2012, and even kids producing some really cool projects, there's nothing stopping you from making something as crazy as your own Fallout Pip-Boy, especially as there are plenty of custom cases, accessories, and how-to guides online. Just don't try to eat it as it is not a real dessert. It is pie, not pie. Speaking of learning a thing or two about coding, that's pretty much all you'll need to know in order to use Braintree payments. Braintree, whether you're working on the next Uber, Airbnb, or GitHub, by the way, they all use it, is a payment solution that makes mobile payments so fast, easy, and seamless, it's almost magical. You add it to your app with just a few lines of code and bam, you are instantly ready to accept Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal, Venmo, credit cards, and even Bitcoin. And if some other way to pay comes along, Braintree will find a way to support that too. Their fast payouts and continuous support mean you will always be ready whether you're earning your first dollar or your billionth. See fewer abandoned carts and more sales with Braintree's best-in-class mobile checkout experience, and you can learn more at braintreepayments.com slash techquickie, which we've got linked in the video description. 
So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, yeah, I guess you can do that too. If you want to check out other channels, I would highly recommend it. They're awesome. And if you want to see a future flip, and if you want to see a different topic in the future here on Fast as Possible, leave a comment below. We do check those out and we do take your suggestions. Finally, subscribe so that you won't miss that video that you suggested. That would be a shame.